so we have talked about uh, we have talked about you, have, you 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 must make sure that you have conducted a health a health audit a health audit is one the other one is safety audit a safety audit and the other one is the other one is work work safety uh, health audit, we have said you have to check your employees. You have to check the conditions of your employee, the health conditions of your employee. Make sure that your employees are in safe condi condition, or they are in health, they are in fit conditions to, to work. Make sure that your employees cannot transmit disease, cannot uh, cannot infect other people, so that they, they, they can also not have accident because of their physical fitnesses at work. At work. Uh, the other one, we have said safety audit. You have to make sure that your people are safe. If they are working on areas where we have falling objects, you have to ensure that those people are safe. Why? Because you want them to work effectively and efficient, efficiently. If they are not, if they are not secure, if they are not safe, do you think they are going to perform efficiently? They are not. Hence, they are going to destroy you to to, to have uh, uh, results that are not. They are not appropriate results that have not met the objectives of the company or the organizations. The other one is uh, work safety. Work safety. So you guys are in ICT, isn't it? Work safety. Remember, whatever you are working on, you need it to be safe, isn't it? Let's say you are working on a certain project in ICT, so you need it to be safe. So how do you ensure that that project is safe? You make sure that there is no hacking cannot take place, isn't it? That your work cannot be hacked. Your work cannot be copied, isn't it? Your work cannot be duplicated, isn't it? What else can you do? You make sure your work is also free from errors, isn't it? Because most of the much time, you guys will be working on the programming, the machines, the, the computers. See, those are the jobs you're working. You'll be working in a computer lab, isn't it? So what do you have to make sure? You have to make sure that also your computer lab is safe. Cannot be easily accessed, isn't it? Uh, what else can you do? Listen to this. This procedure, uh, or this discussed procedure in place, you ensure that safety and health of the employee. It involves hazard identification and action according to the government standards and ongoing safety training and education for employees. The occupation safety and health issue can be gathered from workers by number of methods. These methods include questionnaire and oral. You can also invite your employees. You ask them what do you think should be done to make sure that your safety is enhanced. And they will tell you. You have to make sure that your work is free from viruses, from hacking. You know that like, there are a lot of even cyber bullying, isn't it? See, that's a hazard. Hacking is a hazard, isn't it? Theft is a hazard, isn't it? Machine breakdown is a hazard, isn't it? So you have to make sure that you, even your area is powered well. Well, your workstation is powered well so that your machines don't keep on breaking down. Hello? Okay, so that is all uh, regarding to evaluation of workplace. Those are the uh, evaluation of hazards of workplace. You're supposed, those are the things that you're supposed to do. One includes health audit, safety audit, and work, safety, safety. Once you ensure those ones, you'll be able to have evaluated them. Once you do a, a, a health audit, you'll be able to see the hazards within them that are health related. Health related. Safety related. related. Or do you have any safety concerns? You will be able to see work safety related. Is your work secure? How is the job? Can you rely on the, 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 the results that are being delivered by your people? That's all. Okay.